What's up guys, this is Billy and this is my uh, PSO tube introduction video. When I first heard about Fantasy Star, it was when they released the Fantasy Star Universe demo uh, to the Xbox 360 dashboard and I believe it was 2005 or 2006, one of those. Uh, but it, the day they released it, I downloaded it. My uh, brother Joseph, which is also a, a uh, another co-founder to this channel, PSOTube, uh, he told me, he was like, hey Bill, you should uh, download this game, it's pretty awesome. And I, at, I was all for trying new games and uh, he told me the name, Fantasy Star Universe. I was like, uh, I don't know, it doesn't sound like the type of game I'd really be into. But, uh, little did I know, that was a start to, uh, a lot of fun times. So I downloaded the demo, and I got on the game, and at first I was like, wow, this is pretty awesome. Like, you know, create a character. I believe my first character was, uh, Tapping, uh, which was <laughs> is a funny story behind Tapping, um... I had an obsessive compulsive disorder. I still have it here and there, but uh, I got the name Tapping because my obsessive compulsive disorder made me tap things. And uh, everyone just, uh, you know, re referred to me as Tapping. That was my online persona for so many years. <laughs> it was Tapping OCD, which was my first gamer tag I have ever created. And, uh, yeah, I was known as Tapping OCD. <laughs> so, yeah, um, my first character was Tapping, and I had some great times. I joined PSU a little before my brother did. I joined during the 1UP Cup when they first released the Rappy Suits. And it was a little before the first expansion that I've ever endured, uh, Ambition of the Illuminous. I remember when that was released. Ambition of the Illuminous, it was... It was the biggest, like, point in PSU for me. It was such a change in the game. There was, uh, all this new content, and I was so amazed, like... I was amazed from the start when I found out that there was other players in the world playing at the same time I am. Like, it's a big virtual world. I was like, this game is so great! And we had a group, we had a pretty big group, uh, with, you know, my our buddies Nick, and uh, Bluff and Cryptic Spoon and all them. Uh, we had we had a Fantasy Star Universe group that we would always chill with. And later on, um, I, you know, got to level cap on my characters, and uh, I decided, you know, to chill on the fourth floor <laughs> for a big portion of the game time. But you know what? Even chilling just on the fourth floor was a big experience for me. Just seeing all these people, uh, you know, doing their own thing, talking, conversations. And then you can just type out and join in on these conversations. It was a great time. And I made a lot of new friends uh, doing that. And, you know, I would play here and there. I had uh, three characters at this point. I had Tapping, my original character, which, uh, before the servers got shut down, uh, capped at level 130. Then I had Vayne with a period at the end of it. Which was the start of my Billy Vane online persona. Um, and I'll get into that soon. And yeah, I had the Vane period, which was capped at 120. And then I had my main character, which was Vane question mark. It had a question mark at the end. And that was the main character in which I played Fantasy Star Universe at its most. Uh, I had Vane capped at the level cap 180. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a great experience. Um, you know, I had pretty beast character, considering it was a beast character. It was, a like a short, cute little female, uh, beast character. And I loved using the double sabers. The double sabers were amazing. Uh, I was all about those. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had such great times on Fantasy Star Universe. I've met so many nice people. Uh, it just created a community, you know, and I still talk to some of these people on Facebook till this day. 
and you know I would do almost anything to get Fantasy Star Universe back uh, the servers up again. It would be such a great experience. But um, yeah, I just recently uh, decided to try the Japanese versions of uh, PSO2 since they're the only um, versions that are released right now. I'm still waiting on the NA versions as most of you are. Um, but with this channel, me and my brother Joseph will bring you as much content for PSO2 as possible. All new news coming out. Uh, we will be one of the first to upload the new news and give you guys some insight on it. I know as of right now that we do not have much content because, well, uh, Sega of America hasn't released that much information on it. Uh, they just released recently um, another statement saying that it's still delayed. They don't know until when. But, you know, we'll continue to uh, find new news and get some news on this game for you guys and bring the content here. Now, this game, this uh, channel is not going to be just all about, um, you know, the news on Fantasy Star Online 2. It will uh, bring some Fantasy Star Online 2 content as well as, uh, you know, we brought some previous uh, Fantasy Star Universe content to a few of our channels back in the day, as in like, uh, you know, little funny videos, uh, maybe tutorials on how to get certain items. Yeah, it's, it, we, we had uh, some great times on Fantasy Star, and uh, I really cannot wait until Fantasy Star Online 2, hopefully it'll reborn those, uh, you know, missing feelings, and, uh, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, as upset with Sega of America as most of you are, uh, they haven't given, given us any information whatsoever on the game, all they're saying is it's delayed until whenever, uh, the release, a lot of people were saying was gonna be in May, uh, the end of May, and they ended up not releasing it and giving us no notice until the next month that it's been delayed. So, Sega of America, if you're watching this, you know, get your button gear, start giving us information, some news, so we can uh, provide it out to the YouTube community. Uh, there's tons of people that are like me and my brother that are dying for information, something, anything, maybe a director to tell us that it's come into a console port or something you know anything will give us some little insight on it uh, at least tell us when it's gonna be delayed to I mean the people have the right to know you know like we're trying as my brother said we are trying to give Sega our money uh, even though they're making the online servers free to play they have all these microtransaction currency systems I'm already set. I want to buy as many microtransaction currency items as I can possibly, you know, fit. I am really looking forward to this game, as I'm sure most of you are. And sure, there's tons of MMOs out there. Um, I'm actually playing World of Warcraft on the side, um, you know, waiting for this game to be, be released. I uh, am willing to uh, drop World of Warcraft for a while to play this game nonstop. So, uh, yeah, you know, if you guys feel the same way, you can let me know in the comments below. Uh, once again, my name is Billy. I go by the online persona, Billy Edits. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my introduction video. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for some PSO2 news and uh, videos and nonsense like that. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Adios.